So we're in a lot of uncertainty at the moment, especially with AI moving at the speed it's moving at, right? Yeah. And I guess your company's job is to, to help people mitigate against risk. So how do you how do you navigate the speed at which the landscape is changing? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. It, it's very challenging with, when we're trying to emulate these sophisticated actors, we have to do a lot of threat intelligence, a lot of information gathering as the techniques that they're using. Because a lot of times when data breaches are published, they're not that specific, right. right? They'll say that these records got compromised, it was from social engineering, but they won't go into the depth of exactly what happened. Uh, one, one example that kind of was the flip side of that coin and actually triggered us to develop the capability was a couple of years ago, there was a firm out of Hong Kong that had uh, one of their senior analysts, I might be getting a little bit this wrong in retrospect, but he joined a conference call with a whole bunch of leadership in, their, in this company and they convinced him that he needed to submit a wire transfer. Every single person on that conference call was a deep fake. And this was early, I mean, this was, a couple people might have heard of OpenAI, but it wasn't, it wasn't you know, table conversation to everybody. And that firm ended up losing 25 million in that process. So when we see something like that, even if the details aren't really there, that's when I sit down with my cyber research and development team and we're like, okay, this is a capability we need to develop in-house. And I'll tell you, once we, once we, got, the, we got that started, probably January last year in, in production, right, being able to find someone who did an interview online. Mm. Uh, we actually had one client who was on you know, Undercover Boss. We used that to clone his voice. When we started that in January last year, we needed 10 minutes of good audio to do it meaningfully, right, to do it in a way that was realistic. Now we can do it in about a minute. And it's, just, it's, it's spot on. It's not you, you know, type something up and the computer spits it out at you. It's somebody on the phone in real time yeah. speaking through that and there's virtually no lag. It's, it's crazy. And, and the scary part of that is that it's not that hard. And you know, you don't need to be a PhD with expensive equipment to do this. You need ChatGPT and YouTube.